all right everybody welcome back to flourish Hood. um in this video we're going to be looking at how to create simple projects in scratch we're going to be creating a project called know you better app or let's meet you app something you just look for a name and then just something cool or let's call it my bio app all right so uh, what what this project would do is to know the person is to know the user more uh, know the person's name know the person's school know the person's get some information about the person and then the, the sprite gets to you know meet the person and then ask few questions after that and that's we hope and that's and that will be all. all right now let's get started now to do that we are going to learn simple concepts like variables um, events and um, conditionals right, now let's get started now the first thing you need to do is to delete your sprites select your backdrop uh, we're going to pick a very simple backdrop um, let me just pick something all right let me pick a bit bit um yeah let me pick this and then i'm going to select my sprite I'm going to select character 2 or character 1. I think my internet is a bit. I'm going to select character 2 or character 1 for now. All right. Um, I think I like this. All right. I could decide to leave it like this. All right. So now this is my lovely sprite and um, that's the environment. Let me change the background. Let me pick something cooler for that. All right. Let me pick bedroom 2. All right, I think it's better like this. Now we want the, the sprite to ask the user for information. But before we do that, we need to first save our work. Don't forget, you need to first create a scratch ID to be able to get into this page. To do that, you can click on the link above. You can click on the link at the top right corner to get to get uh, more information about how to join the scratch community all right so we're going to call it what my bio app my bio app or no yeah my bio app for now all right so that's the name of the app you pre you click on you press enter key to save your work automatically in your project all right now we're going to start with an event so you click on events remember what i said about events if you do not know what an event is you can also click on the top right corner you're going to see a video on how to use events all right so events are actions that actually triggers other behavior or actions that triggers another actions okay all right so this time around we're going to be using when flag is clicked so it means that when i click on this flag whatever code that i have on that displays will be displayed by the sprite it's as simple as that so now what do we want our sprites to do we want our sprite to introduce herself all right now let, let me call let me call the name of the sprite um miriam yeah let's call it miriam oops yeah that's nice so we're going to look at the looks block and then we're going to say a lot of things so we're going to drag the save block and then let's introduce miriam so you hello everyone hello everyone all right and then it says what my name is miriam my name is miriam my name is miriam and my name is uh, i would like to know i would like to know you all right now that's it so it says hello everyone my name is miriam i would like to know you now this this short code that we have written um would actually be displayed by miriam when we click on the flag that is the event we said when the flag is clicked so this code will not run if we don't click on the flag so now let's check that out so when I click on 
When flag is click, it says, hello everyone, my name is Miriam, I would like to know you, I would like to know you, alright. So now what are we going to um, add to it? So I could change this to, um, okay, hello everyone, my name is Miriam, welcome to my bio app <coughs> and then you could go again and see this app would ask you sorry ask you few questions this app will ask you a few questions yeah and then it goes and it says what shall we begin shall we begin now you see it's a combination of short codes and um i think this word is a bit longer so you could increase that to four seconds and then because these ones are a bit shorter you can leave those ones as two seconds all right so let's check the flow again hello everyone my name is miriam Welcome to my bio app. This app would ask you a few questions. Shall we begin? Now, we don't want our projects to be boring. What we can do is we can allow music to play in the background. All right, we can allow music to play in the background. How do we do that? To do that, you have to click on the backdrop. Can okay, you see now the backdrop? And then we select events also see select events and now you can now select sounds now we need to select a particular sound that will play in the background so how do we do that click on sounds and then you click on the plus sign to choose click on loops and then we're going to pick a sound All right i think all right all right Let's just pick something cool. Um, I need something cool. I, I think I like that. that Bam. Okay, now let me pick that. Alright, you can pick any sound of your choice. So I'm gonna pick that. Pick that. Now we're gonna play the sound like this. Say what? Play the sound. But we want it to keep playing. Alright, until we're done with the code. So to do that. We're going to use a forever loop. That is, forever loop means what? We need the song to keep playing. All right. So to do that, we're going to click on Control, drag the forever loop outside like this, and then you put play sound. Like that. So that when we click on the flag, it will do the same thing. It's going to display all of this, and at the same time, it's going to play the sound. Now let's check that out. Let's go. Hi everyone. Can you see that? Shall we? Begin? Yeah. That's it. You could also decide. You could also decide to add more music. To do that, you could just go again to sounds. Click on sound again, and then you select more music. Let's say, for example, I want to select more music. After that one is done, you could play another song. You go to loops, and then you go again. All right, maybe dance magic. Go back to code. You drag dance magic, add it to the... All right, so something that will engage the user. All right, now let's run the code again and see. So you go. Welcome to my bar. You see that? Now something. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so I'm going to stop here for now. So that in the next video, I will show you um, a continuation of this lovely project. I hope you understand this um, short concept. In the next video, we're going to continue with our my bio app.
I call it my bio app. You could find a better name for it, but this is the name I would want to call it, my bio app. So um, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and um, ensure that you subscribe because I have a lot of lovely, simple projects that we can create together.